that Pac-Man? Let's see Pac-Man. That is Pac-Man. Oh, Pac-Man's got a blowout. <laughs> What good is? Oh, that's too bad that's broken. Look. What were you? You were Mervins. You're not Mervins anymore. Well, as you can tell, the music is quite loud as usual in Goodwill, so we're gonna try to leave as much in as we can, but there will be some voiceover in between. So, for those of you who like one or the other, you're gonna get the best of both. I hope. So I was just kind of scouting through the Halloween aisles and they're pretty wiped out, wasn't much there. And then I found myself kind of in the, um, the checkout lane. So I scurried through really quick. It's a Pac-Man. It's a Pac-Man. It is Pac-Man. Oh, Pac-Man's got a blowout. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What have we got here? Yeah. $5.99. Little Lion Bank. Made in China. For $4.99. It's not that exciting. Oh, he's cute. Let's see. Oh, he's a... He's a local souvenir. See a gingerbread man. See a gingerbread man for $1.99. That's in 1983. I like gingerbread man. You can sit in my cart just like that. Let's see. Oh, look at the, look at the dolls all packed under there. It's like they're in the morgue. Alright. Ooh. You have an interesting look to you. This is not a toy. Hmm. That's interesting. I might... Oh, well, $3.99. I'll take a chance. I'll take a chance. Okay, look. Getting an interesting little cart going now. We have a poodle with a lot of chips. We have a tea light bird we have we have the red riding hood teapot he's oh that's his tooth he's missing a lid express 2000 399 but missing that lid that's kind of a big deal we have a bunny we have a a flower thing here i'm not sure what that's for Kind of pretty, but nothing, nothing to write home about. Williamsburg, six coasters. Well, these are kind of nice. I kind of like these. Got the original thing, and they're only a dollar forty-nine. So we will get those. You know, sometimes I just pick things up just because I have a feel for them and I have an avenue to sell things even if they're not worth listing on eBay. This was interesting but I thought it was an elephant trunk but it didn't sit that way so I'm not quite sure what it was. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, I'm looking for things, you know, for my booth. I look for things for my live sales. So it's one of the advantages of having multiple ways to sell things and not having all your eggs in one basket. Don't know what that is. Look at this bird. $8.99. No. Just no. How much is this one? Ooh, 
five. He was only nine ninety nine to begin with. Come on. All right. What do we got here? Five ninety nine for. And it's broken. It's broken. There's Beethoven. It's way too big to deal with today. I get a lot of comments about complaining about the prices. And let me tell you, I have been in retail my entire life. I have managed a thrift store. So I really understand retail pricing. And I get Goodwill has expenses. Goodwill needs to make money. But if they would just price some of this stuff more reasonably, they would sell more of it instead of it ending up in a dumpster or in the bins and then ultimately still ending up in a dumpster because it's all broken by the time it gets to the bins. I did pick up these two cute little angels. The price was right. Don't know anything about them, but I just like the look of them. Oh, hello, you're cute. Elephant Party 2000 Stone Critters. Is he broken anywhere? Because if he's not, I'm getting him. Because he's an elephant, and I like elephants. It's not glass. I was hoping it was glass. We've got, what are these? More elephants. I'm trying to figure out what these are. Yeah, we'll leave them. I'm trying to be very discriminating on this trip um, and being careful what I bring home because I just lost the person who helps me create listings. So I'm getting a little backlogged, but I still have to go out and look at what's in these stores. Okay, this is a good luck kitty bank. And these can actually be quite lucrative, but you have to get the right one. So as you can see, the, the waving kitty is the one that sells for about 30, 40 bucks sometimes. An interesting piece of art glass down here. Made in China, look at that. It's got all the makings. You'd think it was a good piece, right? But it's, it's just not really. And we will leave it. Got more of this made in China glass. I can tell you right now, it's made in China glass. Nope. More made in China glass up there. Just too big to deal with for its value. So I saw this little basket. I like the look of it, kind of rustic looking. I'm not sure what it would have been used for. You guys are so good at telling me what these things are used for. What are those openings for? Because I couldn't figure it out. Is it silverware again? It's kind of a small basket to take on a picnic. So, end of the day, there was lots of stuff just thrown on the shelves. You can see clothes all over the place. Kind of makes me a little crazy. Not finding anything super special on the wood shelf this time. This bowl was interesting. Colorama. Nice. I actually hear two different music things going. Oh. Well, these are interesting. Hmm. So we got this one. You know what? I think we might take a chance on these because they're unusual, not something you see every day, and they're handcrafted. So we're going to grab those. Okay. Let's see what else is on the shelf.
Mermaids are welcome. Mermaids are welcome. A little set of, eh, made in China. Okay. Uh-oh. How about San Lucas? Cute. $2.99? The edges are up, but that's like a batik. That one could actually be good. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that. <gasps> oh, look at this. $4.99. Yeah, they're cute, but they're just Kirkland's. They come from a discount store gotta say goodbye to you. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, look at her. I don't know. But they want $15 for it, so it will stay. It will stay. I'm just not in the mood to spend $15 on one thing like that. Save water, drink wine. I agree. This is back here. Some nice little Sandy's Hidden Corners from Illinois. It's just got a little painting on it. It's, I don't know. Yeah, it's not that exciting. I know. Some of you may be mad at me. Oh look, there's another one up there. So there's two of them. Yeah, music's getting a little too loud again and I'm not talking enough. That looked like a Chinese checker, uh, like a homemade Chinese checkerboard it was interesting. It takes everything in me not to want to just sit there and make these shelves look nicer. This is a, a wooden decanter with a lid there, kind of a souvenir thing. They wanted 10 bucks for it. I thought, hmm, maybe I need this for my live auctions on Fridays. I could, I, I could literally drop the hammer. That's what it's called, you know, when you sold, you know, and drop the hammer. Yeah, okay, you guys know. I spotted this tray and for a minute I thought it was old and then I got my hands on it and it had absolutely no weight to it and it was broken. So that got left behind. Just really had to dig, dig, dig under stuff. Now I'm in the metal section. Our Goodwill doesn't do things by color, it does things by material that it's made of. They wanted $8 for that very, very contemporary new Coca-Cola tray, just because it says Coca-Cola. These plates fooled me. They were actually Melmac, so I had to look at the bottom and just be sure, because they looked like they were going to either be um, pottery or that enamelware. They were neither. So not finding much on the metal shelves. And then there was this, he was not metal, he is ceramic. He is a bighorn sheep and not even a really well done one and they wanted eight bucks. And then we have a bunny. This is kind of an interesting little thing for, for $2.99. Yeah, I think I'll get the tin, the tin ship. We've got, oh, they're the pool shot glasses. Those are kind of cool. They want $5.99. I don't know if they're worth $5.99. They're not worth $5.99 to me. Ooh. Who are you? I like you. Don't be so, so humble. I'm. It's okay. I'm not. I'm not totally rejected 
of home goods, but $6.99. Hmm. Now I have to decide is it worth $6.99? I think it is. I think I really like it and it must go in my cart. All right, we're gonna get that. Just peek up here real quick. If there's anything else on the shelf. That also must go in my cart. This is not really good quality. I know a lot of times you guys say, hey, did you see that? Did you see that? Like it's got a, like a 993 or a 366, whatever that is. It's just not good quality. That's why I leave it behind. Okay, I'm slightly tempted to get the candy set, but $25, I'm over my temptation. But I like I like that setup. I like those jars. All right. What do we have in the dishes? These are kind of interesting. What are they? Oh, they're home. Made in Japan. Kind of a vintagey mug. Yeah. These are made to look like Fiesta, but they are not Fiesta. They are Spanya. Gibson. Yeah. I don't see anything too exciting here. Okay, does anybody else think that this is a really bad idea here? I mean, they're hanging knives off of the shelf. I'm just thinking, these things come off here and hit the floor. Um, yeah, it's probably not, it's not great. It's not great at all. Yeah. So I found more of those vintage mugs made in Japan. I actually felt a little guilty that I, do, I didn't go and, and rescue the one that was by itself, but I'll let somebody else do that. This, I believe, was Raku, but it really looked like a home project Raku. Just didn't have the quality that I'm looking for, so I did leave it behind. And, yeah, that was me putting another mug back up on the shelf. And uh, kind of looking through the mugs, there was nothing real exciting today. I would have bought this had he been in better shape, but when these go through the dishwasher... They just get kind of annihilated and not good for resale. This was kind of interesting, but then not. Just a plain little Fire King. Let's just say Fire King. Oh wait, at least there's two of them. At least there's a pair. Eh, nothing exciting in the mugs today. Side real quick. Huh. See that? That. Not sure if that would ever come out of there. These are cute. Kind of like those little salt and peppers. I think I will get those. I spotted the shell trinket dish. Just not exciting. And, and this had a nice crystal look to it. And I turn it over and see that it is Mikasa Voyager. And it used to be a clock. So it's missing its clock parts. Which I point out. <laughs> um, this looked old. And then I turned it over and it had a Made in China sticker. So you have to be careful. There's a lot of fake stuff floating around out there. Sadly. Drives me crazy. But that's why you have to know the feel. You have to get the good stuff in your hands so you can recognize the replicas. That is just the best way to do it. I like the cow, but I don't need a cow today, so the cow stayed. This was a really nice little cream and sugar, like a little mini cream and sugar. They were not marked. So tell me, those of you who go to the live sales on Fridays, is this something that you would have hoped that I picked up and sold to you guys on a Friday? Let me know in the comments. The Mickey mug had something wrong with the color. 
I know it was supposed to be a different color blue, but it was like a, it was almost like it had been through the dishwasher a few times. That was the problem. It was really just not good. I was trying to figure out who the maker was, but they had that so taped up, there was no way to tell. I liked the daisy canister, and I contemplated the daisy canister, but then I thought, yeah, nope, I don't need it today. These are salt and pepper shakers in the shape of an orange, but for $4, I decided to leave those behind. They had the plastic contemporary stopper on the bottom, which was one of my decision factors. This is Jeanette Iris and Herringbone. There are pieces that can do okay, but most of it is pretty run of the mill. I liked this little creamer. It reminded me of a restaurant creamer. That's why I kind of like looked it over for a minute. It had that thicker glass, but uh, I don't know if it's IHOP restaurant creamer or, you know, like days of old restaurant creamer. So I left that one behind. And then I spotted this monstrous centerpiece bowl down here, probably recycled glass, not fire and light, don't worry. Um, but for $25, that wasn't even one I was tempted to try and figure out. This was good quality crystal, it seemed, but it had a contemporary sticker on the bottom, so I didn't look any further. And I spot these purple glasses. I like them. They are a crinkle pattern. I do not think they are fire and light, but hey, who knows? All right, I'm looking to see if I missed any more of that purple. I like that purple. I like the blue tinge on these too, but two bucks each. Yeah, for a set, it was just a little too much for me to spend. Now this really caught my eye. This is a huge metal Volkswagen, what do you call it? The uh, van, a van bus. That's the word I was thinking for. They wanted 20 bucks and that didn't immediately take it out of my my contemplating. I was just trying to think how much I could get for it at the booth because it was too big for me to list online and the shipping would have been monstrous, but I decided to pass. Sometimes somebody will get tired of waiting in a really long line or this could be just what somebody looked up and then put back. But I always take a peek because just in case somebody just abandoned some good, but no, this is just, they looked them up, decided, that they weren't gonna sell for good money and just dumped them on these chairs because it's right here by the couches where they sit and look it up. So don't be that seller. Don't do it. Put them back. Just put them back. You give all of us a bad name. I spotted this chair, which I had to check out a little closer. It's a see-through chair. I like the see-through chair. I don't have a purpose for the see-through chair. And then I was just checking out this, but it was just a home decor contemporary piece. And I'm kind of thinking it is time to go take a look over at the lamps. Oh, and the green lamps are still here. They have been here forever. I'm not seeing, you know what? Remember we saw, we saw the mate to this over on the shelf over there. I think I'm gonna reunite it, just because it needs to stay together. Yes. I know this maker, and these are quite expensive. So we will grab that. Most of them is. No. Okay, so. They're together again, and I'm happy. All right, so here's our tape. We got the ducks. We got that weird thing. I got some glass. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I think there's this crinkle pattern. We got the lady here. Got the fan. Got that. Got some custard. Got a little trinkets. Yeah, you know what? It's all good, right? All good, right, Mr. Gingerbread? Yes. Gingerbread says, let's get out of here.